back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, I'm so glad you're tuning in for another day of Vlogmas. If this is the first video you've seen of mine, go back, watch all of Vlogmas that has happened so far or the last two years of my channel if you want. I post lots of recipes, meal prep, um, a lot of food related content, what I eat in a day, and just vlogs of my life, weekend vlogs, vlogs with my boyfriend Morgan. He lives with me. We live together here in our house. Um, and today we're gonna decorate for Christmas. I have yet to come across the Christmas ornaments, but my fingers are crossed that they are somewhere in the bottom of these boxes. If not, we have some hunting to do. But we got our tree up yesterday. I finally found my tree skirt, yay. So we've got that ready to go for ornaments. And then we have tons of other random decor. So I thought I'd show you just a few of my favorite pieces so you can get um, a closer look. I will do probably like a winter home tour or something later in the month for vlogmas but for right now i'm going to show you some of my favorites so this is from home goods this is one of my favorites for sure just a little ice skate and this part is fuzzy like i said home goods it was like 12.99 a couple of years ago but i love that piece and it's a good like book end if you have like a bookshelf love that also i have some of these puff balls i can't remember if this was target or hobby lobby i'll try to find them and link them for you if i can but just like a puff puff a puff puff, like a puff garland. I love it. And then I also have this Buffalo check garland as well. I've got some mini fur stockings. We'll probably use these for the pets this year. We have a cat and a dog. And let's see. Some of my like favorite decor, I feel like my decor style is kind of all over the place when it comes to Christmas, but I'm obsessed with like these little primitive snowmen like I love these I just think they're so precious they're little faces so I have these I have a lot of stuff that's like green and neutrals and um, this is like my main Christmas banner it's all crazy right now but um these are kind of like the colors that I go for green and neutrals blacks um I just like to keep it I don't know, cozy and wintry and less like red and Christmassy. So that's kind of my theme. This is the OG. I've had this forever. This is either Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. I see them every year though. So somebody pointed out if you recognize this, it just says Merry Christmas. I love that thing, super cute. And then another one of my favorite things is to kind of doll up the coffee bar. I found these little sticks at Home Goods years ago. They're coffee stir sticks that say Mary. And I love to just put them out. I even have the thing out of how I did it last year. Just put them out right by the coffee. You have a little stir stick for your coffee in the morning and it looks super cute and festive. So I love that. Some Target dollar spot stuff also is like, it makes a debut every year. I'm obsessed with this. I think last year I put these in my bedroom on my bedside tables. Those were like $5 at Target last year. So don't sleep on the dollar spot because it's only here for one year. I think we'll end my Christmas favorites with this guy. I also got him at Home Goods. I guess I take price tags off everything. I think it was actually TJ Maxx, but like, do you love this? Because I love this. Okay, without further ado, now that you've seen some of my pieces that we're about to style in my house, up close, let's jump into decorating. I also poured myself a glass of wine, so it's going to be a great time. Tell me this little salt and pepper shaker is the cutest thing you've ever seen. And they're magnetic, so they stick together. Okay, they don't stick together that well, apparently. I think there's tape over my magnet, but I'm obsessed with this. Another thing I love for um, like the seasons, the holidays are different spoon rests. So I just put away my one that's a pumpkin. It's white and it has like a little gold um, stem that you rest. Well, you don't rest it on the stem. You rest it on the pumpkin, your spoon. And this is the one I got at HEB last year and it was two fifty. dollars So if you're in Texas, check out the HEB um, like decor section if yours has one because they have really cute stuff. I still have the price tag on there, two fifty. dollars Love that. And it is cold outside. We gather around the fire. 
so this is another example of one of those like more primitive style things. I usually find those like thrifting um, thrift stores and like resale stores, things like that. And I don't know why they just like tug on my heartstrings. I just really love them. So um, I kind of like scatter them around the house so nothing looks overly primitive because I have a lot of, um, you know, newer decor, glam style decor. So I just kind of carefully place it a few spots and I don't even think you can tell. Okay, so this is what I'm working with so far. Uh, before I get too far, I get comments sometimes about this on Instagram. I got that custom built. That sounds really fancy, but I work for a construction office. So I got the hookup um, with people that can build basically anything we design. So thankful we got that for Morgan's wine fridge. It's actually really cool. So it holds wine down there. And then we just put like glasses and stuff and it's got a pull out drawer shot glasses, wine openers, random boxes of stuff. And then it has a soft closed drawer. I'm like obsessed with that. So cool. So anyways, Hutch, Hutch is in there. So we'll see how that long that lasts. Um, but this is what I have so far. I put those two wood pieces together. I feel like it's a little busy, so I might remove those and put them somewhere else and just leave this plain. That is a really huge candle and we love it. Um, so that will probably stay where it's at. These stockings we're going to replace. I'm looking for the ones that I want from Target. And if I can't find them, I have a DIY that I'm going to follow to make the ones that I want. Um, these are from the Target dollar spot a couple of years ago. They were just $5. Same with the stockings. So there is that. And then over here, I just added these two trees. I've got this like bottle brush one. And then this I found at a thrift store. Um somewhere in Lubbock a couple of years ago. And it's so pretty that it has like gold wire and gold glitter. I'm obsessed. So I like the way the shelves are looking. Unsure about the two wooden pieces, but this is where we're at so far over here. Oh, yeah, G. <laughs> and then over here on our entertainment center, I just added these cute little um, snowmen. Again, that was a thrift store find with a bottle brush tree. I believe that one is from Walmart. And I added, these are actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're just like gold rimmed, like frosted glasses. And I also got the tea candles from there too. They're um, like battery powered. So I added those, and then I also added this little Merry Christmas sign, and I have one more of these that I can light or, or turn on if I want. I'm not sure if I want all three of them up here because I have that glass right there in the middle, so we'll see, but that is how that is looking. This cat advent calendar at Trader Joe's. They didn't have any more dog ones. I found this one in November. It's only December 1st today, and they didn't have any. Um, and that was like a week and a half ago. So that's irritating. So chances outside, he'll never know. I'm going to break this open and give Hutch the first one. Oops. I'm ripping the whole thing apart. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's like three little treats. Come here, Hachi, you wanna try it? Come here. Do you like this? He doesn't really like treats that much. He like never eats the ones I get him. You want that? Yep, not interested. Okay, glad I wasted $5 on that. Hachi. No one cares about I just pulled out this Believe banner and I was like, I mean, I'm not attached to it, but if you like it, we can hang it up. And he was like, what did you say? No, no. it's just cheesy. I don't... It's cheesy. I like everything else we pulled up, but this is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. He said we, he doesn't believe in Santa, so we can't put this no, up. No, I'm not a Grinch. But... <laughs> just, uh, I just thought that was so funny, but it is a cute banner. I wish it, I do wish it said something else, but... 
Not having it. <laughs> Are you ready to walk? Oh, to the mailbox? Okay, like I talk. <laughs> you ready? Yes. All right, y'all, we found the ornament box. I'm so excited. I do mostly like white. I see I got these at home. At home. I think these are Michaels over here. Um, neutrals and like little woodland creatures is kind of my thing. But our ornament came in the mail, so we're going to go pick it up right now. It says a new place, new, wait, new place, happy home with a 2020, a key. I don't know if y'all can see that. The lighting is horrible. It looks like that. I love it. It's so cute. It's just a little placemat. I mean, a little, it's a little doormat. Okay, I'm awful at this. I feel like it's so cute. Okay, should this be the first one on the tree? I think it should be. Me too. Is excited. Oh, Chance <laughs> is excited. Where are we going? I feel like anywhere. Yeah. Right here or something? Mm-hmm. So cute. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna start decorating the tree. I start with, I think I might have some that are even bigger than this, but I always start with the larger size ornaments and push them in a little bit um, beyond like the edge of the stem, just because I feel like it gives the tree a more full look and you have less spaces at the end to fill up. How I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. All right, y'all, so this is where we're ending the tree for now. I usually make tweaks for a couple of days, but we kept it a little more simple this year. We've got some of Morgan's. They do, in the Morgan's family, they do like one ornament a year that represents their year. So this one was when he got his, um, was it your tonsils? Uh, appendix. appendix. Appendix out. This one is the one that we got. So me and him are gonna get one every year that represents like our relationship for that year. So this year we moved in together. I've got my Texas Tech graduation with my little tassel in there. My friend Amanda made me that. Um, this one he worked over Christmas. It's the show Dallas that he made a lot. Yeah, working for Axe for an oil company, so he made a lot of money. And then what's this Dallas person? Is he that money? Old, I think he was like an oil tycoon. It was an old TV show. Oil tycoon. And then this year, he was obsessed with peanut butter and honey. So they got him uh, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> How funny is that? But that is the overview. I added our little mini stockings. Those are for the pets. And I don't hate the way it looks. I don't know if it'll stay that way, but we'll see how that pans out. And I found this little tray and I don't know where to put it. And I just think it's so cute. So put that out as well. We've got all of the Christmas happenings over here. I've got Christmas candle, kind of rearranged those trees. These are from Michael's last year, and this is a vase that came with some roses that Morgan got me that I kept. And then I put my 
little snowman right there. And that's a picture of Morgan and his uh, little sister. Okay, so I also ordered from Craft Candle Co. This is a shop that I mentioned in my small business um, gift guide. If you missed that, if you want to shop small this season, support small businesses, um, I will link that blog post for you. I highlighted over 10 small businesses with a like huge variety of stuff. So you're guaranteed to find something for somebody in your life. And I ordered, she had just launched like right before my blog post went up. Whenever I reached out to her, she was about to launch like the next day. So that worked out perfect. Uh, so she, um, like I said, she was featured on my blog, um, and I ordered from her. She has this little care card, so cute. And then she sent me a little free sample as well of lemon pound cake. Morgan is going to love that. I am so excited. So I got some little wax melts for our warmer. These are $6.50 on her site. I'm so excited. So I got Christmas pine and they break off just like a candy bar. This one's like mistletoe. Yeah, Merry Mistletoe. This one is also $6. I'm really excited. I will link um, Katie's shop. I don't want to show that because I think it has my address on it. Um, but I will link Katie's shop for you down below so you can shop if you want to get some candles or wax melts. I just cannot get over these. I think they're so cute. So, really excited. I have mine burning right now to heat it up so I can clean it out. It has a fall scent. Oh, dinner's ready. Okay, so uh, then I'm gonna put in these and we will have Christmas scents all month long. I'm so excited and I cannot wait for this lemon pound cake. I love that. So. I think that's all for today's vlogmas. Thank you for decorating with me and hanging out. Um, me and Morgan, you want to say bye? You're in the camera. I am? Yeah. Well, not anymore. What are you, you are when you come to the door. Just that we're uh, going to have dinner and goodbye. Oh, that's yeah. the end of vlogmas. Adios. See you later. Bye.